1.1 points, lines, and planes. Understanding mathematical terms. To be proficient in math, you need to understand definitions and previously established results. An appropriate tool, such as a software package, can sometimes help. Common error. In example 2, ray 2g and ray jf have a common endpoint, so they are not collinear. So they have opposite rays. So they are not opposite rays. One point two measuring and constructing segments. Making sense of problems. To be proficient in math, you need to explain to yourself the meaning of a problem and look for entry points to its solution. Reading. In the diagram, the red tick marks indicate that line segment AB is equal to line segment CD. When there is more than one pair of congruent segments, use multiple tick marks. One point three using midpoint and distance formulas. Making sense of problems. To be proficient in math, you need to check your answer and continually ask yourself, does this make sense? Reading. The word bisect means to cut to two equal parts. Reading. The red mark at the corner of the triangle that makes a right angle indicates a right triangle. The symbol it means approximately equal to. Perimeter 1.4. Perimeter and area on the coordinate plane. Looking for structure. To be proficient in math, you need to visualize single objects as being composed of more than one object. Remember, perimeter has linear units, such as feet or meters. Area has square units, such as square feet or square meters. Reading. You can read a notation ABC as triangle ABC. One point five measuring and constructing angles. Attending to precision. To be proficient in math, you need to calculate and measure accurately and efficiently. Common error. When the point is the vertex of more than one angle, you cannot use the vertex alone to name the angle. Common error. Most protractors have an inner and outer scale. When measuring, make sure you're using the correct scale. Reading. In diagrams, Matching arcs indicate congruent angles. When there is more than one pair of congruent angles, use multiple arcs. 1.6. Describing pairs of angles. Attending to precision. To be proficient in math, you need to communicate precisely with others. Common error. In example 1, angle DAC and DAB share a common vertex and a common side, but they also share common interior points, so they are not adjacent angles. Common error. Do not confuse angle names with angle measures. Common error. In example 4, one side of angle 1 and one side of angle 3 are opposite rays, but the angles are not a linear pair because they are not adjacent. Two point one Conditional statements. Constructing viable arguments. To be proficient in math, you need to distinguish correct logic or reason from that which is flawed. Common error. Just because a conditional statement is contrapositive or both true does not mean its converse and inverse are both false. The converse and inverse could also both be true. Two point two inductive and deductive reasoning. Constructing viable arguments. To be proficient in math, you need to justify your conclusions and communicate them with others. Making sense of problems. In geometry, you will frequently use deductive inductive reasoning to make conjectures. You will also use deductive reasoning to show that conjectures are true or false. You will need to know which type of reasoning to use. 2.3. Postulates and diagrams. Attending to precision. To be proficient in math, you need to state the means, meanings of the symbols you choose. Another way. In example 3, there are many ways you can sketch a diagram. Another way is shown below. 2.4. Algebraic reasoning. Looking for structure. To be proficient in math, you need to look closely or to discern a pattern or structure. 
Remember, inverse operations undo each other. Addition and subtraction are both inverse operations. Multiplication and division are inverse operations. Two point five. Proving statements and segments and angles. Statements about segments and angles. Reasoning abstractly. To be proficient in math, you need to know and be able to use algebraic properties. Study tip. When writing a proof, organize your reasoning by copying or drawing a diagram for the situation described. Then identify the given and proof statements. 2.6. Proving geometric relationships. Modeling with mathematics. To be proficient in math, you need to map relationships using such tools as diagrams, two-way tables, graphs, flowcharts, and formulas. Study tip. When you prove a theorem and write the hypothesis of the theorem as a given statement, the conclusion is what you must prove. Study tip. In paragraph proofs, transitional words such as as, so, then, therefore help make the logic clear. Justifying step. You can use information labeled in a diagram in your proof.